Hey guys, so I wanted to show you my Classical Conversations curriculum haul for 2019-2020. Um, that is going to be my son's kindergarten year of uh, homeschool in Classical Conversations. So we are brand new um, to CC and needed to get a couple of things to get us started. So um, the first thing that we got, which is the most important thing, or kind of like the core thing you have to have, is the foundations guide. And this is a spiral, spiral bound um, book. And this is your curriculum for every year for the first like nine years or something like that. Um, this is your like, this is your curriculum. So um, what it has is, so Classical Conversations runs in cycles. There's cycle one, cycle two, cycle three, and you do a cycle every single single year, and then you start back over again. So your kids hit that same, hit the three cycles multiple times during their education if they stay with Classical Conversations. Um, and this has cycles one, two, and three, the memory work and the information in it. So anyway, this is the foundations guide, and so this will tell us every single week what we are working on memorizing. It has information about um, like science projects, and um, they learn a little bit about orchestra, and they learn geography and that kind of stuff, and it's all in this one handy book. And so I will tab that later um, so that it, I can easily reference just the cycle two stuff, because we will be doing cycle two this year. And um, so this is kind of like our main curriculum here. Um, then I also got, these are the history cards. There are the timeline cards, I guess. There are four different sets of them. There's ancient world, medieval world, new world, and modern world. Um, and these um, are optional, but um, tons of people just absolutely love them and they're beautiful. And so I went ahead and got them. Um, but a big part of CC is that you learn this uh, long timeline song that teaches you like a timeline of history and these cards go along with it. And so each card has a picture on the front and then information on the back. For kindergarten, really this is a little bit more, I mean, we're not gonna probably read all of these cards. That's a little above his level, but um, looking at the pictures will be helpful and I think they'll enjoy that. And this is something that you use all the way from the beginning to graduating from CC. So it was definitely um, something that we'll continue to use. And so here's the, uh, they came in the four packs and I've already opened them up. And then you just kind of keep them all together in this big old humongous wad of timeline cards. And I'm gonna get a box to store them in with dividers. Then, um, again, this is also optional, but I thought it would be something that the kids would enjoy. I got these, geography place mats. So um, something really cool that they do in CC is they learn a ton of geography. Um, they learn where different stuff is located on the map. As they get older, they actually learn to how to sketch out the whole entire world, which I think is so amazing because honestly, I'm so not good at geography. So I'm excited to learn along with them. So anyway, um, these are just laminated placemats, front and back, and it's something that, you know, they can just sit and actually literally use it as a placemat while they eat, and so it's kind of always in their view, and they're learning it kind of, you know, just a little bit at a time, or, you know, we can sit down and we can use dry erase markers and um, and trace on it and that kind of stuff. So I got those. Those we're excited about. So that honestly, that's it for our CC curriculum because it's very simple. Um, we do have to get a tin whistle, um, which I did not order that from CC. Um, I ordered that from Amazon, so that's already here. I just didn't bring it over for the video. I got a couple of other things from the Classical Conversations website because I was, um, you know, I just had some other stuff I wanted. Um, but I got this book called The Core. It is written by Lee Bortons, who is the founder of Classical Conversations. And it's about teaching your child, um, your younger child, so the foundation's age, which is what age uh, mine is. Um, and so that'll be good just for my own learning. And then I got this super cute book. It is um, just like a little board book, but it's all about... A kid who's homeschooled and specifically classical conversations and you know references some some CC type um, stuff that they do on their community days but 
I love it because so much of the kids books out there um, are that are geared towards kindergartners are all about going to school, getting on a school bus and taking your lunch and meeting your teacher and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, it's nice to have one that kind of represents our family and what we're doing. So I was excited about that. I also got a CC magnet to go on my car or right now it's stick, sticking on my fridge over there. But anyway, that is what I got. That's what I ordered. Um, I wanted to order so much other stuff, but I was trying to keep it simple for our first year and then we'll add on stuff um, as the kids get older. Um, I did not order the CDs because I will be getting the iTunes uh, version and then we'll burn those onto CDs for our car. But there's a set of CDs and or a set of iTunes um, downloads that have all of the memory work set to song. And so that's another thing that is going to be um, important in our curriculum, but I don't have it physically to show you because we'll just be getting the digital version of that. So anyway, there you go.